is Keisha here at TradeWithResolve.com and I hope you're having a great trading day. If you're new to the channel and interested in platform tutorials, viewing live day trades, or learning some of the basic terminology that comes along when getting involved in the stock market, please consider subscribing to the channel. Today, I'm going to provide you with a general overview of the Think or Swim platform. And in later videos, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the details, along with learning how to set up and customize your stock charts to your liking. Now, I know at first sight, the Think or Swim platform may be a little intimidating, and I completely understand because there are so many features available with this platform. But not to worry, I'm going to walk you through and help you set up your platform. So we are currently here on the home screen and you can see here we have a number of widgets here which you can customize. So we have our P&L here along with the timer that tells you how much time until the closing bell. At the top left hand corner we have the account information and just below it we have the live news. Trader TV your watch list, and then a quick chart. Now you can customize all of these different widgets to your liking. This is just the default and standard setting. So let's say you want to view a level two. You can come down here to this plus sign and you can see here there are a number of gadgets that you can choose from. So we can scroll down to level two and let's say we want to view the level two of SPY. So you can just type in the ticker symbol of your choice. And now we have our level two. If we go back down to the plus sign, there are a number of other gadgets that you can choose from along with the time and sales window as well. Now let's say you want to detach your level two from this particular window. You can just select this menu button and then select detach gadget. So you can now freely move this level two window wherever you wish. Now I actually have a three monitor setup, so I'm going to just simply drag this level two to another monitor. So next, let's talk about window linking. So let's say we like that we have our watch list here along with our stock chart and then our level two. Well, if you click this link symbol, you can select a specific color. So let's say we want to go with blue and we are going to link the level two with the stock chart and the watch list. So now whenever you type in a symbol, let's type in Apple. Now everything else changes along with it because the windows are now linked. If you click on a symbol within your watch list, your chart and your level two will change as well. So now we're looking at Tesla, Bank of America, Facebook, so forth and so on. So now let's take a look at the tabs here above. So first off, we have the monitor tab, which is going to allow you to monitor your positions. We also have the trade tab, and this is where you can execute your trade. So for example, let's say we wanted to take a look at Apple here. And you can see here, I can now view the option chain. Now, if you want to select a specific option, you can select the expiration date, and then you are going to be able to view the option chain for that specific expiration date. If you would like to view more strike prices, you can change that here in the middle. So now let's move on to the market watch. So under this tab, this is where you are able to set alerts and you can also see the heat map. And this is just gonna give you a general idea of what is going on within specific sectors to see what the general sentiment is for the day. 
if we move over to the charts tab this is the chart by default so you can certainly customize the colors and add in indicators etc and we're going to cover that in the next video next up let's take a look at flexible grid now this is what i really like about this platform this flexible grid allows you to customize this layout according to your liking so let's type in a ticker symbol here so i just entered in spy so we now can see the stop chart for spy let's say i would like to have another stop chart down here we're going to type in apple facebook and Netflix so you can see here we now have a number of stock charts and you can also add even more so if you select this plus sign it's going to divide the space here within this first row so we can also enter in another ticker symbol let's go with Nvidia so now we have two stock charts on the top and then three at the bottom if you would like to add one more chart you just click the plus sign and then we will look at one more ticker symbol let's go with tesla so now we have a total of six stock charts so this is pretty helpful if you're wanting to keep an eye on a number of stocks simultaneously now for example maybe you only watch two ticker symbols in a day if that's the case then you can go ahead and link the first row so we're going to go with red here and then we can link the second row with yellow So now we have Apple at the top and Spy at the bottom. If you would like to add more charts, you can select the plus sign again. And now you can add another stock symbol. If that's what you would like, you can keep adding as many stock charts as you wish. It's completely up to you. You can also select the plus sign on the left hand side and it will divide this particular box vertically instead of horizontally now if you don't like this sidebar here that allows you to view the level two and a few other different tabs you can just uncheck the sidebar option and this is going to provide you with more space for your stock charts once you have customized the flexible grid to your liking you can come right up here to the top right hand corner and select this icon here so you'll want to deselect customized grid so that this customization box here will disappear so let's go ahead and deselect customized grid so now we can clearly see our stock charts now if you would like to zoom in on the stock chart you can just select the plus sign here so we have a magnifying glass with a plus sign that is what you can click on to zoom in on the chart you can also left click the chart and drag and you can zoom in that way as well now let's say you would like to view the daily chart and then maybe you want to view the weekly chart as well so you can come right up here and select the weekly chart and then let's say we would like to view the four hour chart as well for example so now you have different time frames here and they are all linked so again we have apple here at the top and we have linked the windows with red and the number one so now all three of these windows are now linked and we have different time frames displayed on each of the charts so you can change your time frame by selecting this area of the chart here and that is how you can choose a time frame now we're going to go into much further detail in the next tutorial but this is just a quick overview so now that you have a quick overview of the thinkorswim platform feel free to go in and practice and begin to familiarize yourself with this wonderful platform if you enjoyed this brief tutorial please consider subscribing to the channel thank you so much for watching if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave those below and i look forward to seeing you in the next video